Hi there, my name is Oha Cade. I'm the composer of the symphonic metal project Balkada. Before we continue, please like and subscribe. Now I put out an appeal for some suggestions um, stuff for me to react to or review. And a user called Meg7UpYours reached out to me on Twitter and requested Juliana Joy. They didn't specify which song by Juliana Joy. I've never heard of Juliana Joy. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I'm kind of torn about whether I should get some context about who she is, what kind of music she plays, or whether I should just go on Spotify and see what the most streamed song is or maybe the most recent song might be more interesting i think what i'll do is i'll check out the most recent song because that will be the most faithful to what sound she's currently going for at the moment um i'm not gonna look into her wikipedia or anything or, or get context because i would prefer to be surprised and really just take it in and then give my thoughts afterwards I will preface this, as always, by saying I will be honest about how I feel about it. As a composer, I like to sort of analyze songs um, authentically and discuss them in depth. I will usually comment about stuff that I would change or improve, just according to my own taste. Um, but I mean it respectfully. And of course, if I end up loving it, that's great too. Let's see what she's got in store. Julianne Joy, there she is. Okay, well, the uh, imagery I'm seeing is of just her holding some cats. I like it. She likes cats. She's hanging out on a couch, just chilling out. I'm gonna guess she's some kind of pop artist, up and coming pop artist. She's got a few million plays, maybe pop slash indie slash pop punk, maybe. I'm very curious about this. So the top play song is Cherry Bomb. I'm sure it's great, but I want to know what the most recent thing she has come out with is. Prescriptions is the most recent song that I can see. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to do the album version of Prescriptions from the Garden of Eden 2022. I'm excited. Okay, first of all, I really like the atmosphere that is immediately conjured into your mind by the very kind of spacey and atmospheric instrumental. I really like the subtle percussion sounds that she has going on here. It's almost like you're right beside a river and it's flowing and you can hear the sounds of nature and stuff, but it's just all very, very nice it really spurs the imagination her vocals are really beautiful she has a really naturally beautiful voice i quite like the rhythm too because it kind of has a funny rhythm to it it's not very like on the beat it's it kind of sways really like a river um i keep using that metaphor even though the song it's called Prescriptions, and I wasn't really catching the lyrics, I was more trying to listen to the melody. I'm not sure if, if the, what the lyrics are about, if the song is about maybe addiction or something. I'm just, I'm just going by the title. But the, the, the rhythm, of the, the drum pattern is, is unusual. Well, it's unusual for a song that overall does sound quite um, commercially viable. You know, it is rather mainstream sounding, but what is... Dogs barking. It really helps the song to kind of float along. You know, the beat is very delicate. Um, it really supports the the rest of the instrumental quite well. 
and it's actually quite ear catching. You, you're kind of trying to catch the beast, but it's evading you and creating this sort of ethereal feeling. So that, that I really enjoy, the instrumental. Now, as far as her vocals, well, the verse melody is very nice. You know, it's kind of hard to get a grasp on it. Um, lots of sort of quick fire notes, a very pretty melody. It's the sort of melody that I would need to hear a few more times to really hear what's going on there. The chorus at the moment is a little bit underwhelming. What I thought was the pre-chorus actually turned out to be the chorus. So when that chorus came in, I thought we were going somewhere else <laughs> afterwards, but we came right back to the verse. Um, it's fine, I guess. I guess I'll see how the rest of it goes. So the, the predominant thought at the moment is that I really enjoy the instrumental. And the, 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 the thing about her vocals is that they're very nice and they're very like competent melodic vocals, her, vo her voice is, is beautiful, it's just that there isn't a lot of dynamics in it. It's all very much on the same um, plane of, of dynamics, meaning she's not really going much more delicate or much more chest voice, loud and intense. It's very much in the same plane of a comfortable sort of speech level style of singing that has become very popular in recent years in, in contemporary pop. For example, Billie Eilish really popularized it, I think. But I do think it is starting to go a little bit out of style. It's a little bit homogenous. So while the voice is, is pleasant, it doesn't have a distinct quality that really grabs me. I, I feel like I've heard this voice on the radio countless times. But there is a talent there, there is, there is a distinct voice there, but I think that she is, she's aiming for commercial viability, really. And fair enough, you know, it seems to be working out perfectly well for her. It's just not that interesting to my ears, unfortunately, but let's see where the rest of the song goes. Yeah, so actually, you know, the, the, the chorus is quite pretty. I know it's it's really not trying to hit hard. It's just trying to be kind of short and catchy, um, which is cute. I usually, this is very, it's very, very clean, very non-threatening. You know, it's, 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 it is sort of bland. Like there's promise in the instrumental in that, that spacey feeling, but her, her tonal quality didn't change from beginning to end. For me, just personally, for my taste, I mean, listen, I listen to a lot of metal, a lot of symphonic stuff, and which, which often is very busy, very intense. So I'm used to a lot of busyness. Usually I, I look for a bit of busyness and it is possible that um, this is just really not my, my style. But I liked, I, I really try to try to look for merit in everything that I that I listen to. And again, love the instrumental. The instrumental is great. There's imagination there. There's beautiful production. And again, I love her voice. Her voice is very, very nice. But her implementation of it, it just isn't very distinct. I don't know if it's really her, her authentic self, because you know, if you closed your eyes, you could really imagine a Billie Eilish singing the song easily or, you know, any sort of uh, indie pop girl. I wonder if this is just sort of a once off and if maybe her, her other stuff showcases a variety of, of different styles where maybe she gives it a little bit more, um, more of her, of her true self. And if this is her true self, more power to her. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm curious to know what the general consensus is about uh, Juliana Joy. Again, for me, <clears throat> she, she is very much in a very safe sphere of pop indie. It's very, very palatable to a lot of people. It's very, very safe. Like, there's nothing very experimental about it, which is part of my issue with it also, but again, not everything needs to reinvent the wheel. It was a perfectly competent indie pop song. 
uh, perfectly played, produced, um, and I think the vocal delivery um, sufficed for what was demanded of it. But I, I really look for for songs to push some boundaries in some way or another. Um, so that's really my only criticism. I'm not feeling extremely positive about it, nor extremely negative. I am sort of like in the middle of the road, you know, and I wish I felt one way more than the other. Just my own genuine reaction, according to my taste. You know, there's a lot of channels out there that will just react positively, no matter what, and that's that content isn't worth anybody's time. It's not worth my time or your time. So if you're a Juliana Joy fan, I am sorry that it isn't a glowing review, but I will say that now I'm going to do a little bit more digging on her, maybe check out a few more songs in my own time, see what the general consensus is, and see if I can sort of understand uh, the, her appeal a little bit more. <coughs> that came out the wrong way. <laughs> she's, she's obviously doing, doing great. Um, I'll, I'll check out that album. I will. I will. Okay, um, listen, if you have any other songs that you'd like me to check out, any specific ones, maybe from Juliana or another artist that you enjoy or another band, um, I, I do album reactions also, let me know what you'd like me to, to review and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching.